So Bernie has raised $10 million in the first week of his presidential campaign, $10 million from 359,914 donors. That is... Those votes. And that is majority... That's majority small dollar donations. Yeah. Those people yeah. knocking on doors, right? Right. There. Aside from the 10 million total, representing 14% of Sanders' fundraising sum in 2015, only 14. Three factors from week one stand out in the senator's favor. Who's this? New York Magazine. In a race where the source of the fundraising could be as important as the money itself, Sanders is relying on small gifts from young donors. Not, not. Let's let's be clear. We love money from old older progressives too. Because some, some uh, viewers... You're only reading an article. This right. has nothing to do with our views. Get out of my face. Uh, according to the Times, donations to the economic populist averaged around 26 bucks, and the most common age for a donor was 30 years old. The 2020 field has shifted way to the left of the last cycle, and among the more liberal candidates in the pack, corporate donations could act as a PR burden, blah, 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 blah. Second, it looks, like, it looks as if Sanders has attracted a new swath of voters, according to information shared with the Times. Almost 39% of donors used an email address that was not registered with the 2016 campaign. So literally almost, I mean, not almost, but like in the vicinity of half of the, these donors were new donors. And wasn't most of them Republicans as well, right? No, I think like 12% were uh -huh. actually Republicans. So the narrative is, but Bernie hasn't built his base since 2016. Uh, apparently he has because yeah. almost 40% of the donors were new email addresses. So that's why I was yeah. always saying... People have been paying attention. He's the only one that's been working. And by the way, that's why I was always saying, do you know any president... Like, did Mitt Romney, after he lost in 2012, barnstorm the way. country? I said that, by the way, but go ahead. Okay. Did Mitt Romney go around the country, barnstorming the country? Did Hillary Clinton, after 2008's lowest, barnstorm the country again? After 2016? Hell, right. No. So Bernie Sanders was down in Mississippi standing with the Nissan workers striking. Bernie Sanders was in Kentucky. I covered it, uh, advocating to not repeal the Affordable Care Act, even though he doesn't even agree with the Affordable yeah. Care Act. But he saw it's it, we can't, we can't uh, repeal some progress, even though he was still pushing for Medicare for all. He's been to he's been to Georgia. He's been to other southern states. He's been to other red states. So maybe that has to do with why uh, I believe it was 12 percent of the donations came from Republicans. Yeah. So Bernie Sanders, you know, the media likes to focus so much about Bernie Sanders isn't a Democrat and this and that. Again, uh, 39 percent new e new email donors Where are you? Uh, right here. So assuming the vast majority of, the, of those aren't old, don old donors using new emails, it suggests that the campaign has broadened its support since the 2016 run, which Sanders pulled in 43.1% 43 of the vote. By the way, that number is bullshit because, frankly, I think he won Iowa. I think he won Missouri, but we don't need to get back into that. There's a quote. There's an assumption he's relying on that loyal base of support from 2016. Democratic strategist Jen Psaki told The Times the new donors could, quote, make people question the assumption that Bernie so supporters are solely Bernie loyalists from 2016. That's the point. When I w you weren't with me at the time, but uh, when I covered Trump rallies, not like I didn't poll five people. I, right. I got very few Ted Cruz's. I got Bernie Sanders. Yeah. So. You want you want you want you expect us to think a lot of those Trump supporters aren't disillusioned, like those plants aren't reopening anywhere that he promised to reopen. Of course. The, you know they might see minimal savings or minimal more money coming in their pay paycheck from the tax uh, cut, but they're not overall seeing some magnificent change in their life. And a lot of them, including the workers we just interviewed in Ohio, in uh, Michigan, that are being laid off by General Motors are seeing worse than under Trump yeah. because Trump was making promises that he couldn't keep. The president by himself cannot uh, dictate whether f companies uh, keep their plants in America or go offshore. That's policy. And as yeah. I've always advocated, there needs to be a hell of a lot of tighter regulation on these companies where we don't let them do whatever they want and we don't give them bailouts with no strings attached and we don't give them tax subsidies and deregulation with no strings attached, meaning if we're giving these companies subsidies, if we're creating favorable conditions, they have to keep a, uh, a baseline of workers in America, in America. with benefits with a living wage. So I think, uh, let me tell you something. That's just one week. That's just one week of results. So I happen to think Bernie Sanders, uh, if that's kept up, because honestly, I don't see any other candidate performing that way. Kamala Harris, although the media has done their best to, to kind of create this narrative where like she's got the buzz, she's not making that kind of money. Now, 
as uh, as she does fundraisers, she might be able to compete with Bernie Sanders on money because yeah, she's because getting she a lot of money. Donors. She's getting a lot of money from the usual suspects, which I'm gonna, I'm actually looking into right now. She's doing a fundraiser in Hawaii in March with some questionable cats, including many that donated to Hillary Clinton. But you could have you as Hillary Clinton showed, you could have the money, but money doesn't equal enthusiasm. Here. So Hillary Clinton outspent Donald Trump by two to one. She in the electoral college, she got. Her clock cleaned. So I think this is very uh, good news for Bernie. We'll see what happens at his rally Saturday. I'm uh, still waiting to see if we're approved to yeah. cover his rally. Oh, so uh, yeah. we, we put in for cr- credentials, so we'll see about that. Uh, but I think, I think uh, the key takeaway here, that's a lot of new emails. Yeah. That's a lot of new emails. So that it ain't nothing to sneeze at. And even if it's a lot of people that already donated but have a new email, that's not all of them. So even if he had 20%, of legitimate new donors, that's a big number. 